Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered, oh gee, I wonder what that 268 square degree group of stars is located in the fourth quadrant of the northern hemisphere that can be seen at latitudes between 90 and negative 50 degrees? If so, why is this video for you? That constellation you saw was Volpecula. Volpecula is a constellation located in the center of the Summer Triangle, a collection of bright stars shaped like a triangle. It is mostly visible in the Northern Hemisphere around the month of September. The constellation was discovered in 1687 by astronomer Johannes Hevelius while recording stars for a star catalog book he was making. He observed that this collection of stars look like a fox with a goose in its mouth. And it's really easy to tell. You just look at the constellation, connect the dots, and it... Oh, wait. How does, how does this look like a fox? Where's, where's the goose? What? Needless to say, he had a lot of imagination, and Volpecula was formed. The star constants of Volpecula is actually pretty interesting. I narrowed this down to six different types of stars, but there are many. They're, they've got really interesting names, like, uh, Answer, the name of the goose that the fox is carrying, 23 Volpeculae, Volpeculae, 31 Volpeculae, HD 189773, PSR B1919 plus 21, and PSR B11937 plus 21. That, that's pretty interesting. I've also compiled a list of fun facts that I found along the way about this constellation. Something I found was that Volpecula was discovered in 1687, and it wasn't a finding by the Greek. Because of this, it has no backstory or lore at all. I also learned that the legendary PSR B1919 plus 21 was the first pulsar ever discovered. Pulsars are neutron stars that spin so fast they emit radio signals. When the scientists first discovered this, they thought they had found aliens. Volpecula in the entire constellation also only has one named star, which is Anser, named after the goose. Another fun fact I found, and one you may have noticed, is that the video is already two and a half minutes in, and I haven't even explained the story. And you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. So, Volpecula was a fox, and... He liked to collect berries, these berries, for his family, and so he took it back to his collection. But then there's this goose named Answer, and Answer didn't like that. So Answer would come, and Answer would steal the berries from him. And Volpecula didn't like that either. So one day, Volpecula. Volpecula was roaming around and he found the magical berry of golden birdie. And so he was like, wow, this is so cool. So he got it and then he took it back. But then Answer came and stole it. And so Volpecula was mad. He was furious. So, so he got Hang on. And so we started chasing, chasing Answer. And Answer, oh no, what am I gonna do? And you, ah, I'm gonna attack. Ah, and and then, and so the the Greek gods were watching this all unfold on their seal no all TV. And and these people, they they really liked Answer, and so they didn't want him to die. So they they, they decided. To save him. He was getting attacked, right? Ah! And then Zeus comes, and he's like, Yeet! And then Answer gets shot up into the stars. And then Zeus is like, oh yay, he's safe. He's in space, he can't be hurt. Problem solved. But then, but then Volpecula, he, he do not like that. So he jumped into the stars too. And, and he ate, he ate answer, and um, and that, that's the end. And then, and then, 
the Greek got there so impressed, they turned it into a constellation. Oh gosh, this story sounded a lot better in my head. Okay, that that's my video. Thanks for watching, and always remember to always wear your seatbelt.